all these parts, the white parts, are printed. And the rest is just... Is this the substrate? This is, this is ABS, yeah. This, it, it, um, ABS is like the yeah, plastic mm -hmm. that's used for Lego. Yeah. Stuff like this, so this is normal, normal stuff. Yeah, it works like an um, endless, endless hot glue gun, mm -hmm. kind of. Because this filament oh, yeah. driven in by this M6 screw, it, it gets heated. And yeah, there's a temperature sensor and a heating, heating coil for heating it. Oh, wow. Everything, all these items are printed here. Oh, wow. Oop. That's too fucking cool. Well, there's something else that's fucking cool. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's on the web there. Yeah, it oh, wow. Or, or what else? Now it's starting to get some that? This is like the metal F variant of the... Um, yeah, it's just uh, metal balls. <laughs> and then of course you can add a magnet. But yeah. Check it out. Yeah, it's dripping. Yeah. Yeah. Metal Gun. 3D printing. Hopefully it's not a crash, yeah? Ah, this is... Mm -hmm. It's okay. It the uh, areas of the little scan. Some time till the film and filament comes out. So now it sticks. Is it too deep? Mm -hmm. We still haven't added it. We haven't printed so well. Perfect. The cell model is actually the cell model so far. Maybe we should have the because now they can have it from wrong. That's what I don't really want to do. Because I guess it's just a good one. Yeah. Or is it just a test? Oh, it's lying down. Did it work out there? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Aha. This should be the right size though. Mm. And then it looks more like a fashion plate. I don't like it. No, I think it's cool. Let's see when I get my new glasses. Oh, so it doesn't let it pass around. I think it makes three or four layers here now. So this would be the solid face. Someone's hair... Okay, that is going to cross hatch the other way. Yeah, someone's hair is now part of your... That's fine. You have a hair? Yeah. Where's the hair? Okay, now it's part of it, if it's inside there. <laughs> That's quite alright. It works on a surprising number of locks. Sometimes uh, if you have a key lock and you open it, in fact we have, uh, where's one of the master locks that we have? Bagger locks. Do we have a hook? Short hook? I have all the It's like showing up with drugs somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you can try, it's not going to work very well. I wish that 
that one side of the spinner. I can thin that out manually. I'd rather thin it out manually. What are we making? It's a diffuser for a slush. A light diffuser. Okay. Because I'm always grabbing pieces of paper or something else so I can take a flash photo up close without it being all white. The material is going to be shallow, so it will easily pop We almost got it. You can, you can hear it clicking and pushing. But yeah, if it was a little deeper, a little longer, it would have been all the way in. That might get it now. That might get it. So, if it's all the way in. Yeah. However, you feel comfortable. If you feel it bends and you don't feel that's going to die, you can do one more attempt. Maybe try the next attempt the other way. Just wait another attempt. Then you should make another one. The only problem with this is it makes you feel less safe about the locks. Well, you buy a better lock. That's the idea. It's a little shallow. Exactly. Okay, then we go all time. That's good. All right, it's finished. Yeah, that's a whole thing about physical security. Yeah, it's just that's how you should think of it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.